And welcome back. So Jarrett Stidham will run the offense for Auburn this year, where he'll try to improve the Tigers in the passing game that was 112 in the country last year. BMAC is over at the Telestrator to tell it straight. Thank you, Ray. No question the Auburn fans should be excited hearing that Jarrett Stidham will be their starting quarterback, and I'm going to show you why. This is a talented player. Granted, he's been hit with a few injuries throughout his time at Baylor, but what I'm getting ready to show you right now is this experience factor that Jarrett has, the ability to see what the defense is giving him from the scheme concept. Right now, Jarrett recognizes these corners. They're in a man-to-man -man concept, man-to-man. -man. And both safeties, they're eyeing the backfield. So right now, these guys are on the edge alone. And he understands and he sees the favorable matchup in his favor. And what he has going on, basically what they run in Auburn, the same kind, kind of offensive scheme they ran at Baylor is a play-action concept. So right now, he understands, like I said, this wide receiver you currently don't see right now in corner, they're by themselves because the play-action brought up both safeties. They're attacking. Now, this safety is sitting back because this wide receiver is, is still. But when you look at the wide side of the football field, there is so much grass to work with. And look at Jared Stidham. Look at his body. Look at his position. Look where he's looking down the football field. He sees the opportunity, and he's going to attack the favorable matchup. Look at his body position once again. This is a quality throw. This is what I love about Jared. Right now, the wide receiver got inside of the corner. With so much field to work with, it's imperative for Jared to lead this wide receiver and hit him in stride. And that's what he did because anytime a wide receiver is in front of the defender, the only way he has an opportunity to make a play on the football, if the pass is behind him. But Jared is leading the, the wide receiver to the promised land. And because of that, that's not just a completion. It's a touchdown completion, which is huge. Auburn, they've been looking for this, op for this type of production from the quarterback standpoint. Now, different angle, end zone angle. You get a clear view to see exactly what the play action did to the defenders. This safety is coming up. Remember, there's a wide receiver outside with a corner. Jared is going through the play action motion, but yet still look at his head. His head is down the football field, and he recognizes and sees the safety He's being drawn up because of the play action, and he understands instantly where he needs to go with the football. There's no need to go through his progression because look at him. He went straight to the point, and this is what I love about Jared Stidham. This is what the Auburn fans should be excited about right now. Pop a beer, eat some pretzels, get prepared because you got a pretty good quarterback getting ready to be your starter for this upcoming season. He's throwing to a space. The wide receiver is here. He's literally 10 yards away from where he's throwing the football. But because he sees the wide receiver in front of the defender, he must lead him to the promised land. Because like I said earlier, anytime a wide receiver is in front of the defender, the only way this corner can make a play on the football is if the ball is behind the wide receiver. But because of the experience and the accuracy that Stidham has, he's throwing to a spot. It's not just a, it's not just a completion. It's a touchdown play which is huge when you look at what quarterbacks can provide. Auburn, they haven't had consistency at the quarterback position since Nick Marshall. Jared Stidham is a better passer than Nick Marshall. Auburn, get prepared. It should be a fun season. Back to you, Ray.